Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is for the sign of Pisces. This is for your sun, moon, and rising. This is a timeless reading, so whenever a spirit brings this message to you, then that's when it's meant for you. And I know that this is the month of March, so happy birthday, Pisces. So let's see what the energy of the cards have to say. Okay, so the first card we have is Big Happy Changes. So Spirit is telling me with this card that you guys will be looking forward to some big happy changes, some changes that, you know, you guys may be expecting, you know, so just expect them to be on the way, or it could be unexpected changes as well. The card that flipped out is Choose Wisely. So with this energy, you may have several opportunities in front of you or presented to you. Um, it could be, you know, job opportunities. It could be, um, you know, partners or mates if you are dating. It could be several different opportunities. It'll be different for everyone. Um, and with this energy, it's, it's really important to go within. You know, if you use your intuition and your gut and you go with that little voice in your head, it won't it won't be difficult to choose at that point and spirit is saying that you can always ask for a sign if you know if you know that you don't want these two options right here and you have these three left you can always ask spirit or your angels for some type of confirmation or guidance So the Law of Attraction card that you guys got is Affluence. I choose to be debt free and live an influent and healthy life. So with this card, you know, this is about, you know, maybe some of you guys have different goals in mind as far as paying stuff off or, you know, some of you may be setting up plans or goals for this. And, you know, Spirit is saying that when you manifest and you focus on the things that you want to attract in your life, those things will come into your life. So if you come up with a plan for, you know, minimizing debt or paying things off or saving things, you know, always say, you know, I expect unexpected and expected blessings to come in my life or abundance or, you know, things of that nature or prosperity, because you could get these things expectedly or unexpected which both are good, right? Expected money or abundance and unexpected. So let's see what the cards have to say. Again, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Spirit, what messages do we have? So at the bottom of the deck, we do have the high priestess. So I just spoke about using your intuition, right? This is, you know, that the high priestess goes within about things. She also keeps things to herself. So if you have certain things or goals that you're planning, you know, I feel like some of you guys maybe kind of keep it under wraps until it kind of uh, blossoms. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then next you have the death card. So this is about some type of ending or transformation that's coming into your life. And, you know, honestly, I don't think you're going to be surprised by it because then you have the five of swords. So, you know, this this does speak to about some type of victory in your life. Um, however, with the five of swords, you know, it is like at what cost, you know, um, you may in your recent past have had some type of um, victory um but it may have costed you know quite a bit for some of you guys depending on the situation you know but the overall energy is you know your intuition going within um 
making sure you're grounded and you're balanced so that you're able to pick up those messages. Okay, so we're starting off with the chariot, the five of wands, eight of cups, Two of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Two of Wands, The Fool, King of Cups, Six of Swords, Six of Cups. So let's see, got one more. And the Four of Swords. All right. <clears throat> So like I said, I feel like between these two cards, these are gonna go together. You know, you're gonna have options presented to you in the near future if you don't already. And it's gonna be really important to tap into your intuition. And just know that you do have big happy changes coming in the horizon. You have some, some good energy coming in and hopefully it comes in just in time for your birthday. Over here dropping cards. All right. So let's look at this. So we're starting off with the chariot. So, you know, it's all about, you know, some type of movement is coming in. You know, not only a movement, but some type of victory. Some type of, you know, some of you guys could be traveling. Some, t some of you could be moving house. Um, this is some type of forward momentum. This could even be forward momentum in a in a job, in a relationship. It'll look different for everyone, right? And then with that movement, you know, you're going in the right direction. You have the five of wands coming up. So, you know, this speaks about, you know, some type of conflict or competition or bickering or arguing. You know, a spirit is telling me that there may be some people around you that don't agree with you moving. You know, some of you could be moving up like a promotion or moving into a new house. And some some people may not agree with that. You know, maybe they want those things for themselves. You know, sometimes when we do have these big happy changes come in, sometimes people aren't able to be happy for us. They don't, they don't know how to. And I don't feel that that's for the large group of y'all, it's only for a few of y'all, you know, but whatever this conflict is or arguments, you know, you're walking away because you not only have the forward momentum, you know, this momentum of moving forward, this is something you asked for. You asked spirit for this. You were like, you know, I collected these cups. You know, it could have taken you years. It could have, it could have taken a long time, but you're ready to move forward you're ready to go on an adventure. You're just like, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. And this is in the, you know, you're gonna get through this with no problem because there's still movement, a little bit of, you know, confliction here. And you may not even be in this energy of conflict. It may just be around you or people trying to, spirit is saying bait you, right? People trying to um, entice you into arguing or getting into some type of gossip or some type of you know conflict or argument right but I feel like you're moving on and you're looking towards your future with the two of Pentacles you know the world is literally in your hands you're you're planning you're moving forward and it looks like you're gonna be moving forward in a new beginning you know you are leading with your heart you're you're allowing your faith to guide you so when it comes to this the majority of you, I don't think you're going to have any issues with choosing which way to go, which person to choose, what situation to choose, what opportunity to choose. You know, this may be the only little snag up, but at the same time, I feel that if you are grounding yourself and listening to your intuitions, you're going to move through that energy so quickly. So you have that full energy and then you have the king of cups so with the king of cups you know this is someone offering you something usually they refer to this card as like you know like an offer of love or something like that some type of emotional fulfillment so for some of you guys this could be in regards to a relationship maybe this is the person that you chose 
you know, someone that makes you feel like emotionally fulfilled or you just, I don't know, like just makes you feel head over hill, makes you feel secure. And if this isn't in regards to a relationship, you know, this could be the job offer, you know, that full energy, that new beginning. And if not, this could be your energy as well. But I feel like some type of offer is going to come in. And then this brings you into the Six of Swords. You guys are having a lot of movement. You have the Chariot, forward movement. You have the Eight of Cups, forward movement. You know, with the Chariot, that's physically moving. The Cups are emotional. The Swords, you know, that's about, you know, clear thought, clear communication, right? So you are moving on physically, emotionally, and mentally. And you're moving into calmer waters, into smoother waters when this offer comes in. I feel like it's gonna bring you back to your comfort. You know, that's what the Six of Cups is about. You know, sometimes it's about the blast from the past. You know, this, this King of Cups, it can be a male or female. Maybe this is somebody from your past that is gonna come back and offer you something, but it doesn't have to be. Because this is about your comforts. This is about, you know, when you're little and you just remember the way that the baked cookies used to smell or how, you know, your mom or dad used to cut your sandwiches. Whatever this opportunity is, is gonna bring you back to a familiar feeling. It's gonna, it's gonna give you some type of comfort. <clears throat> So next we have the Seven of Swords. So I'm gonna pull a clarifying card with this because this could be different depending on the clarifiers. And then next we have the Four of Swords. So whatever the situation was with the Seven of Swords, you know, not only that, I feel like with all the movement, it was a lot of big energy. I feel like at the end of this, you're gonna be in a point of reflecting resting relaxing I'm getting like a really good feeling from this you really I really feel like you're gonna you're really gonna be in a reflection mode so let's see let's get a few clarifiers for the cards so let's start off with the seven of swords Ooh, this one wants to pop out okay so the two of cups so this is about some type of relationship, some type of bond that you have with somebody. It could be romantic, it could be platonic, um, but it is with the Seven of Swords. So with that, you could be walking away from this person, from this energy. And like I said, it doesn't have to be romantic. Let me get one more card, Two of Cups, Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like I feel like whatever the situation was with this person, it kind of took you away from your balance. And I feel like with temperance showing up and, you know, this guy is like walking away and you do have a lot of movement. So when you move physically, emotionally and, you know, mentally, you are moving away from people and places and things and ways of thinking. And, you know, with these swords here, too. You could be moving away from a way that you used to think about something that used to hold you back or limit you. Or like I said, it could be a person, you know, it could be a romantic partner. It could be a coworker. You know, I'm almost feeling like it might be somebody from this situation with the five of swords with with the arguing and the bickering. Let's see. Five of swords. So the five of swords we have i'm sorry the five of wands we have the ace of pentacles so remember i said that earlier that i felt like you're moving forward and you're being you're you're being victorious and a lot of people not a lot of people some people aren't gonna like that some people aren't gonna like that the fact that you're leveling up that's what that is everybody's not going to celebrate you you know for your new beginning but that's okay, right? We're, we're moving away from that energy. We're moving away into the energy of where people appreciate us and celebrate us, right? And then you have the Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, you're planning, you're looking out in the future, you're being patient, 
you're tending to the to the seeds that you've planted you know whether it's whatever it is whatever you're investing in yourself you're you're tending to those and whatever you're doing it's it's going to pr produce this new beginning and I truly feel like all this movement is definitely going to bring in some type of happy changes. So you have the Eight of Cups here and then you have the Hermit card. So, you know, when you are moving on, especially emotionally, if you do feel like, you know, um, your emotions are kind of getting the best of you, you know, maybe you're in this energy of, you know, should I go this way? Should I go that way? But just emotionally, like you're not telling anybody or it's just kind of within you know go within go within meditate ask your angels ask for signs ask for guidance about this you know ask for confirmation and you have the six of pentacles with this so this is all about give and take this is all about balance too you have the scales in here as well for some of you you may have some type of um, unexpected money coming in because of the the six of pentacles right unless you're giving something but i feel that you know with this new opportunity you moving forward in this new position there's going to be some type of financial financial um resources coming in or something of value and it's going to restore balance as well I, I feel like the theme of this is of this reading is is moving forward moving you're moving forward in a calmer waters And there's going to be a lot of messages. You have the page of wands here. You know, you have the page of wands. You know, this is this is some type of the spark of something new. You know, this is messages. This is emails, text messages, emails, I said emails, <laughs> phone calls. Let's see. And you have the chariot too. You know, with the six of six of cups. I feel like this this forward movement. It's like spirit is telling me it's like a push, like a push of momentum. Like, I don't know. I feel like maybe some of you guys felt stagnant or just kind of like the energy was kind of slow. The energy is definitely going to move up. And, and when it moves, it's going to move you into a place of comfort with this six of cups and this chariot. So very beautiful energy. And the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. So we have the Hierophant and we have the uh high priestess so i feel like for some of you guys this new beginning is definitely a new job a promotion you know you're you're getting you're getting an acceptance into a large organization you know what i mean so everyone's new beginning is going to look a little bit different but this overall this reading is really really beautiful i mean you have big happy changes you have you're going to have multiple you know options to choose from um spirit is saying too before i end the reading with this card balance came up a lot with the scales um make sure between now and the future that you know you guys really are balancing when it comes to your health i know a lot of times we focus so much on finances but it's also spirit is pointing out the healthy lifestyle so I don't know if if there is an unbalance with um, with a small group of you or a small handful of you with your health, but you know if you need to go walking or exercising or, or eating less or you know portion control or calorie counting, make sure that you know you are taking heed to that because spirit is saying that you already know that you should be taking care of yourself in a in a healthy way that even includes going to the doctor for a checkup and i'm sure whoever this message is meant for for a healthy lifestyle or going to the doctor or losing some weight or whatever the healthy lifestyle is i think you're going to instantly know that message is for you so thank you so much for watching my video all of my uh, contact information is below if these messages resonated Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time.